welcome to the old corral. Well, sir, looks like we're in for a happy get-together again, and we're mighty glad you're all here to visit us. Now, get a comfortable seat up there on the old top rail, will you, and prepare to forget your worries for a little spell. Sally Foster and our former Nosy Waters, I know we'll have some songs we'll all enjoy, and I've got another yarn for you, too. So suppose we get underway now with the Bunkhouse Choir starting us off. Merle, are you and the gang all ready? You got your boots back. Let's have it, then. Load up your gun and whistle up your dog. Load up your gun and whistle up your dog. I'm going to hunt and shoot a groundhog. Groundhog. What you going to do when the groundhog dies? What you going to do when the groundhog dies? Eat his meat and tan his hat. Groundhog. Up comes Sally with a snicker and a grin. Up comes Sally with a snicker and a grin. Groundhog grease all over her chin. Groundhog. <laughs> Up come Pap with a ten foot pole. Up come Pap with a ten foot pole. Twist that groundhog out of his hole. Groundhog. <laughs> oh, dear, that sounded like, sound like February the 2nd, didn't it? <laughs> well, uh, here, let's get our foreman up here. Come up here, Ozzy. I want you to, I want you to sing a little song called Told You So. Told you, you so, Ozzy. I just hate to tell you that I told you so. I just took for granted things you ought to know. You said your motto was to love them all. But when the right one came along, you knew you'd fall. You played hard to get and even told me so. No one could please you, that's true. But now the one you want wants no part of you. I just hate to say I told you so. I just hate to tell you that I told you so. Just took for granted things you ought to know. You said your motto was to love them all. But when the right one came along, I knew you'd fall. You played hard to get and even told me so. No one could please you, that's true. But now the one you want wants no part of you. I just hate to say I told you so. Yeah, I told you so. All right. <laughs> Too. 
Well, here's that little gal with that smile, boys. Step back and give her room. Oh, hi, fellas. Yes, sir. Hello, Sally. Oh, thank you. Listen to that cook. He's always got his eyes on Sally. (laughs) We can expect anything in our food tonight, boys. Uh. (laughs) Well, Sally, how about you sing a little song for us when it's prayer meeting time in the house? All right, Pappy, here it is. You know, I used to play a harmonica and play that oh, tune. Yes, I did. Really did. And by the way, that reminds me of a fella called Harmonica Joe that was a puncher down there for the old Lazy K. Oh, of course, it wasn't me. Yeah, he was on that outfit down in Panhandle country. He didn't know much about music, but when he started playing that battered harmonica he had, he could make it do almost everything but talk, I reckon. Fact is, he claimed he could make it talk in animal language. <laughs> He used to sit on his horse and herd the cattle with it. That's true. Yeah, he could round up strays just to sit in there, too. <laughs> That's right. And when the steers got uneasy, he could calm them down with that mouth organ. But when he tried it on wild animals, the results were not always as scheduled. One time, he harmonica talked a mountain lion into leaving the community, so he said. Nobody ever really gave him credit for doing it, but the facts were that after he serenaded that cat, there weren't any more young heifers killed by it, I'll tell you that. That is, around there. Joe also claimed that he had once reformed a grizzly with his harmonica music. So when the boys found a butchered cow one morning surrounded by the unmistakable paw prints of a bear, they talked Joe into going out to hold a musical confab with the murderer. Well, they put it on so thick that Joe couldn't do anything but go. He did take along his six-shooter, however, just in case the bear was stone deaf. <laughs> now, of course, a pistol, would, <laughs> a pistol wouldn't be much help against a really mad grizzly, so about an hour after Joe had set out, his partner, Printer Jacobs, followed with a Winchester loaded with really persuasive music. And when Jacobs caught up with Joe, the serenade was in full progress. Joe had found the bear, or maybe it was the other way around, I don't know which, and <laughs> the grizzly was walking on his hind legs directly toward Joe when he got up there, who was backing away as fast as he could, playing for all he was worth. Evidently, the tune wasn't to the bear's liking because there was an angry snarl on his face and murder in both paws. <laughs> so Jacobs unslung the Winchester and leaped from his horse. And just as he got within shooting distance, the grizzly suddenly stopped, reared back, and then turned and thundered away at full speed. Of course, this pleased Joe, and he began to play louder and dance with joy. And all at once, he stopped dancing with one foot dangling in the air and began to play like mad. Jacob thought his partner had suddenly gone crazy. Then he roared with laughter when he saw a rattlesnake coiled at Joe's feet, swaying in time to the music. (laughs) Shoot him, Joe pleaded from the corner of his mouth, and Jacob finally did, and then he cussed Joe for being so ungrateful to the snake that had saved him from the grizzly. (laughs) <laughs> well, suppose we have a little song here now. Ozzy, what do you say? All right, Pappy, how about Like I Signed My Letter? Sincerely yours. Good idea. <laughs> now, 
darling, I love you, I miss you. Just can't be said anymore. Lovingly yours and yours truly is all changed now to sincerely yours. That's a new way of ending my letter. There's not to be anymore It's not goodbye, my little darling I'll be missing you It's all changed now to sincerely yours That's a new way of ending my There's not to be anymore It's not goodbye, my little darling I'll be missing you It's all changed now to sin pretty son and instead of speaking of sincerely yours don't gonna don't time slip by so quick here it is almost time right now to drop the bar on the gate of the old corral for this little song fest this time but folks we're mighty glad that you were with us and we'll reserve a spot on the old top rail for you if you'll come calling on us again in the meantime don't forget we'll have some yarns and some songs for you a load of fun so let's make a date for the next time won't you this is Pappy Cheshire talking for all of them. Ozzy and Sally and Merle and Cliff and Joe and Slim and all of them saying, So long, everybody. So long. Lord.